right, I just wanted to take a minute and explain and talk about this planter that we just got done building and, and it's new technologies that are on this planter that we're really excited about. So to start with, this is a Harvest International Row unit that uh, uh, has tapered bushings on these parallel arms so that uh, as if there's any play down the road, we can just tighten up the nut and bolt on that parallel linkage system to take out the play. Um, kind of explain maybe starting down here at the bottom and working our way up. So there's a load pin right here that is measuring the weight that the gauge wheel comes and pushes against this load pin, which is the same as if weight reading is if we were reading how much weight we're pushing to the ground. In the display, we tell it how much weight we want it to be pushing against the ground at all times, and then this hydraulic cylinder will lift and lower every row individually, constantly adjusting so that we get the weight reading that we're desiring applying to the ground. So in Sugar Beets, we're going to be lifting this row, staying up on top, and the corn would be pushing down so that we make sure that we're applying depth. Um, speaking of planting depth, this part right here replaces the T-handle on the planter. This is an automatic control system for our planting depth. So a couple of the nice advantages about that is, is before going to the field, we calibrate our planting depth by putting uh, a known distance underneath the gauge wheels with a planter all the way down, a known distance underneath the gauge wheels like a two by four, that would be an inch and a half tall. We put that under every row and every one of these smart depths would calibrate to that uh, planting depth. So then from there on, all of our rows are equalized out. We'd be planting at the same depth across all the rows. But what the other advantage of, besides being able to fine tune to the infinite degree of what planting depth we plant, we can also, through a smart firmer, detect how much moisture is in the soil and tell the display a minimum planting depth that we would be able to plant or allow it to plant and a maximum that we'd allow it to plant and on the go, this uh, smart depth would change our depth so that we are planting into moisture within the parameter that we've told it we would allow it. So that we're making sure that all of the, the seeds are placed into moisture. Um, <clears throat> moving back just a little bit further on the closing system, there's a weigh pin that is sensing how much weight is being pushed into the soil on these closing discs. So these closing discs actually go into the soil, engage in the soil, and push the trench closed. And then we stitch it up and firm it with these back wheels. Anyway, this load cell is communicating the same way that we do on the rest of the row unit, how much weight we're applying. And then this module is opening up and closing, letting air into this air bag so that we are applying the weight on this closing system that we desire and doing that as well row by row individually. On the fertilizer system, we have two different fertilizer systems on this planter. Uh, one that is going to go out through the wings. So the furrow jet has three different points where we're going to be uh, sending fertilizer out. So we have one system on this planter that's going to go out the wings. And another system that's going to be going out the center and doing in furrow. So let me explain the difference on those two. We have an electric magnetic sensor that's sensing the fertilizer content so there's no turbine anymore in the sensor. Uh, nothing to get plugged or jammed. And so we'll be reading row by row how much uh, is being applied through that sensor on the wings. So to explain the center nozzle fertilizer system, what we're doing in furrow. So we're using a speed tube to deliver the seed to the ground. The sensor that's reading the seed is built into the speed tube. We're taking the signal from the speed tube eye and communicating to a component called a dash. The dash is from 360 yield center. It gets the signal from the speed tube saying the seed's coming down and 
in nanoseconds time, we actually inject fertilizer in a, in a distance that we tell it right at the seed. So for example, if we want a two and a half inch long dash, right as the seed comes down, it will place a two and a half long inch dash at the seed and then stop and close and then open for the next seed. So instead of streaming it all the way down the whole furrow, it'll open and close, open and close. And uh, depending on plant population speed, everything else, I mean, that's all synchronized, but we're talking about 25 times per second that that's happening. So that's gonna cut back fertilizer costs by approximately half whatever that's a, would normally being applied all the way down the, the furrow. We'd cut back costs and application rates approximately half by just dashing, turning on and turning off. Um, the technology as far as the, the metering and the simulation and the spacing is all being controlled through B drive and speed tube from precision planning. So an electric driven meter coupled to an electric driven speed tube that delivers right to the ground. So with sugar beets, this planter will be planting about seven mile an hour and with corn that would be planting at 10 mile an hour. So uh, anyway, I think that kind of explains the, the new technologies that are on this planter and, and we've been seeing all these components running this spring and really impressed but uh, we're, we're excited about this planter that has all of these on it all together.